Hi, in this clip we will answer the question from the previous segment and motivate a few of uh, uh, the analysis of the birthday problem with the balls and bean experiment. Okay, so in the previous segment we asked if we have a year with M days and there are N people. Okay, so what's the probability that they all have distinct birthdays is, uh, is what? Okay, so previously if you have uh, 365 days, the probability is e minus roughly n square over 2 times 365, right? Okay, so uh, it's roughly this. If you do the same analysis, then uh, instead of 365, you're gonna get m, right? So the answer is this, okay? With this, you can, uh, with this uh, approximation, you can calculate many uh, the number of people or the number of things that is going to be randomly chosen into something uh, so that they, they will collide with some probability pretty easily with this expression. Okay, so let's look at one example. Okay, so now you have M in, you have a game and you have M battle rooms. Okay, and you assign a user to a room randomly. Okay, a user come, and you assign a room randomly. Okay, so if there are only one or two user, maybe it's not enough to so that this procedure of randomly assignment is gonna be is gonna work, right? If you have too many rooms, and then if you have too small number of user, then you know nobody is gonna fight anyone because okay, the other pe people will come and you know they go to a different room, okay? So what's the minimum, roughly the minimum number of users so that we start seeing people randomly assign and they collide into the same room, okay? Okay, so let's think about this for a few seconds. I'll, I'll tell you the answer uh, in a minute. A hint, you should think about the birthday problem. Okay. All right. So uh, let's th when you when you wanna use various uh, sample uh, probability problem that we have analyzed to analyze something else, you need to find correspondent. Okay. You need to think about. Okay. So there are battle room, battle rooms, and there are people. Okay, and there are, uh, so in our previous analysis, okay, we have uh, days and we have people. Oh, okay, days and people. We have to think about uh, what should be corresponding to days and what should be corresponding to people in, the, in this case. But this is pretty obvious, okay? Because you want to random people into battle rooms, so it's like people picking random days in a year. So uh, it's the same thing here. So so we would like to have when you think about this uh, correspondence, you have a uh, battle room and battle rooms, and you want to figure out the number of people in. So that randomly, uh, these n people randomly chosen into these rooms, and and some of them, some pair of them, collides into the same room. Okay. So if we look at this, then we know that if we have n people, the probability that none of them collide is roughly. We we the probability that we see no battling is roughly this. Okay, and we want this to be. Uh, we want the battling probability to be at least 50%. So this has to be less than uh, 1 over 2. Okay. So solving this will get you n. Okay. So um, this is this is uh, e to the uh, let me figure out e to the minus 6 0 0.69 three something like that so you need uh, n square over 2m to be roughly this so this gives you 
something like n square over 2m has to be at least uh, 0 0.693 and if you do some calculation then you know that n has to be at least uh, uh, this have to be multiplied by 2 right so it's gonna be um, 1 1 3 8 6 m square root okay so if n is rough uh, at least this then you know that you have this with with this probability okay now uh, instead of having to use this exact form that we uh, have already analyzed we can use something that we have already learned okay so this balls and bin experiment can be used to analyze the uh, birthday paradox as well but the result is not as exact as the previous uh, probability analysis because we're going to use expectation expectation to analyze the thing and we're gonna and from expectation it's uh, we can infer about the probability from this, but not very uh, in a in in a way that is not very accurate as the exact analysis on the probabilities. All right. So if we're gonna use this balls and bin experiment to analyze the birthday problem, we have to think about again uh, these questions. Okay. We have to think about uh, what should bins and balls correspond to okay in the birthday problem we have people right people randomly picking the day of birth which is not quite correct but yeah people picking a, ra a day at random and we have days okay now what should be the correspondence between bins balls and bins with uh, peoples and days okay so you should think about this and and when and 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 if you want to analyze this, uh, we should think about what are the events that we would like to uh, consider. Okay, it should be related somehow to the fact that uh, two people collide, uh, picking the same birthday, having the same birthdays. Okay, and and the analysis of this is not that difficult. So you 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 gonna work on it in the in the uh, practice for this week. Alright, have fun.